Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday night and I just uploaded my first vlog for you all. I'm enjoying doing the vlogs because it's so convenient to just film throughout the week rather than film like a bulk video on the weekends, but we'll see how we go with that. I'm gonna do both. I'm not just gonna do vlogs forever and nothing else. I'm just waiting for Gary to get home so we can go to the gym. I hate the gym. I hate going. I feel good afterwards, so that's why I do it, because I feel better afterwards and I don't feel like such a fat bitch, but... <sighs> skin update. Um, I feel like my skin is looking a lot better, and that is because I use Skinstitute. I've still got this guy happening. It's just kind of like a matter of time before that goes away. Hope you enjoy this week's vlog. Time to go to the fucking gym. So we just got back from the gym and I'm just reading some of the comments on the first vlog I put up and everyone's really liking it so fast. I got home from the gym and literally ate a bag of Doritos for dinner. I'm trying to sneaky vlog while Gary's hanging out the washing so he can't hear me talking to the camera. At the moment I'm just on my laptop looking at... Um, some vlog cameras that I might be wanting to get. I really like the look of this Nikon Coolpix one. Um, it's only 470 and I can buy it with Afterpay. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing the vlogs on my phone for the time being. When you fill your Z palette and you realize you get to buy a new one. So this one is full, oh Jesus. This one is full of my Makeup Geek shadows from this row down to here. They're all Makeup Geek ones. And these are my MAC shadows, these ones at the bottom. Oh, except for that one, that's uh, Makeup Geek. These four are MAC, they just can't fit in here. Um, and these are just a bunch of random stuff. These four are Inglot, that's a Makeup Geek blush, and that I'm pretty sure is just like a L'Oreal shadow that I just thought I'd depot. Um, I really want to get these four in a new... Uh, Z palette though, so I want one Z palette to be for my Makeup Geek shadows and then the other Z palette to be for my MAC shadows, so Woohoo, gonna go buy one right now. So I am now about to go to the movies. I'm going to be seeing that new um, Bridget Jones's baby movie. I have to wear my glasses to the movies because if I don't it, the whole screen is fuzzy. I don't really like wearing my glasses when I'm not at work like I really only wear them because I work on a computer all day and my eyes get really sore and um, things are a little bit blurry and I get headaches if I don't I don't really tend to wear them unless I'm like going to the movies or going to a show or something like that where I have to see things far away I'll check back in with you guys later so just got back from the movie then and it was actually so good I'm surprised at how much I loved it. I think I'm just gonna laze around the house. Might make a smoothie or something like that. And just while I'm on the subject of food, if you guys are looking for a really good breakfast smoothie powder, then I really suggest that you try this one here. It's by Holy Foods. It's called the Protein Boosted Breakfast Smoothie with Oats, Nuts and Seeds. These are so yum. Particularly this one's my favorite. All I do is I put in my, I use this one, this little one, I put in some ice cubes, I then put in a whole banana, and then I put in two teaspoons of the powder. It says on the tin to put in four tablespoons. For me, that's just way too much. Like, I put in two teaspoons and it still tastes really strong to me. So I do that, and then just a little bit of light milk, and then I blend it up all in my Nutribullet right there, and it is so good. I have it every day for breakfast, and it's bloody delish. So a few clips ago, I showed you my Z palette that is now full. I was not playing when I said I was gonna go straight online and get a new Z palette, and it arrived today. So I'm gonna open it on camera and show you what one I got. So this is it here. I did cut it open, but I haven't actually opened it yet. I got this one off Crush Cosmetics, which is an Australian website. And I got a little card and a Mentos. 
That's so cute. On to the important stuff. As you can see, I got the leopard print one. It was between this zebra print or black. And I didn't want to just go plain black. And I thought out of zebra print and leopard print, this is probably... Ugh, if I can get this open. I'm not usually a, you know, animal print fan, to be perfectly honest. And I love that you actually get a little pack of magnets. The Makeup Geek eyeshadows are already, um, the pan is already like a magnetized pan. Um, I used these last time for my MAC shadows because the pans that the MAC shadows come in aren't magnetized. You need to actually put a magnet on the back. So that is really handy. You can buy these separately, but they come with the palette and you get a fair few. So when you buy a palette, they just come along with it. It's so cute. And there's no time like the present. So let's do this now. I like to keep my shadows in like categories. So I leave all the mattes in one section and then all the shimmers in like another section. So the top ones can be the matte shadows. The next row down can be the shimmery ones. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's the start of a new era. So I decided to put all my Inglot shadows and my random one L'Oreal shadow in there as well. And I'm going to use this palette as a blush pan palette. So I have this one blush pan from Makeup Geek and I have um, a bunch of other MAC blushes that I can put in here as well. And I think it might be easier to just have them all in one pan. And then I'll have some more empties to take in to get a free lipstick. So after depotting all that stuff, I managed to get six empties. So excited. Now I get to go and get a free lipstick. Woohoo! So I am just in my lunch break at the moment and I quickly went to DFO to try and find some of the Adidas Superstar shoes, the white ones with the black and gold detail. And DFO is fucking useless for things like that. Like if you come here for something specific, you're not going to find it. So I've got two pairs on hold at the Foot Locker at Chermside, so I'm going to go there this afternoon after work. I also got a package in the mail, so I thought I'd just quickly open it up here because I literally cannot wait till I get home. So I'm pretty sure this is from the uh, team at L'Oreal who do the PR for NYX. They always package it so cute. Like a little, a little card from Beck. She is lovely. Oh my god, my finger. Yep, so just a NYX eyeshadow in the shade Nude Tude. I'm shaking so much because I'm so hungry. Um, I got an intense butter gloss. I really love the formula to these. If you haven't tried them, then I definitely suggest that you do. A lip pencil in this shade Plum. The Jumbo Eye Pencil in Dark Brown. So thanks, Nyx. Thanks, Beck from L'Oreal. You're a bloody star. I haven't even eaten yet because I was just on a mission. Now I have to go to Chermside after work, so. Yay, but I'm gonna get myself some fresh kicks. I have the all day show at the Met on Saturday night, so I really want to have them for that to be fresh and on fleek, you know? If there is one thing that I hate, it is traffic. Like I get the worst anxiety when it comes to sitting in traffic. I am s stuck on Hamilton Road right now trying to get to Chermside and I have been on this road for about 45 minutes and I literally am about to lose it. <laughs> I don't want to sound dramatic but this is fucked. I'm about to have a goddamn breakdown. I made it. <gasps> that was literally the worst thing. I really thought being stuck in that traffic I would ball my eyes out but I didn't even cry not once. I was so freaked out that these friggin shoes weren't gonna fit me but woo, they fucking fit. Okay, these shoes are my life now. They're so cute. It was such an ordeal, but it worked out in my favor because I ended up fitting in the children's size seven. Even better, 
The children's sizes are only $99, so you're gonna save yourself 30 bucks. They're so pretty. Love these shoes. I love them. I actually love them. I actually love them. So it probably seems like all I do in these vlogs, or at least this one, has just been unboxing and unpackaging things I've bought online, but whatever, let's just roll with it. I got another one today from Sephora. I had ordered a couple of the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses, so I'm just gonna open that now. The first one I got is the lip gloss in the shade Butterscotch. Ooh. That is what that one looks like. Oh, they smell so good. N the next one I got was the lip gloss in Undressed. Ooh, that one's really nice. A little bit um, less on the pink side. So that's it underneath. So I am currently doing a flat lay. I figure I might as well just show you because I actually get asked quite often how I get my photos on my Instagram and this is literally it. I use the lights that hang above my kitchen bench. Um, I turn on these down lights as well and I just put this um, faux fur um, thing I got from Kmart over my bench. And yeah, I literally just lay everything out, take my photos like that, and then afterwards I use a, a photo editing app on my phone and it's called Aviary. And I literally just bump up the brightness and the highlights and also the contrast to make them really stand out. And that is all I do. I literally have like um, in my pantry where I keep all my linen and towels. This is where I keep all like my props for my flat lays, like all my flowers, my marble coasters. <clears throat> There's some ribbon back here, things like that, and then also my fake marble placemat and these tray things that you can all just get from Kmart. Honestly, Kmart is the best thing ever when it comes to flat lays. You can get everything you need for a good flat lay from Kmart. And that's how I do my photos for my Instagram. So it is Friday night, I am done for the day, I've put my tan on, I haven't gone as heavy this time, I don't want to be too brown, I can't believe I just said that. Yeah, so I thought I would just leave the vlog right here, I'm about to finish editing it, edit, I'm about to finish editing it, I'll upload it on Monday. So I hope you all like this vlog, please let me know what else you'd like to see on my channel, I'm kind of trying to come up with a few ideas for actual sit down videos. Um, to upload so if you have any ideas or anything you like seeing then let me know but other than that I hope to see you all in the next video and I'll talk to you later. Bye!